Oh, the one big news that's actually going on right now that's not related to COVID or um, the riots is that the um, um, uh, the White House has uh, is started moves to block ch- all Chinese passenger airlines from the U.S. Uh, and they're doing it um, because there is a deal that was made with China about um, allowing um, American flights over their um, their airspace, not for passenger flights, but for military. And China reneged on the deal and said, nope, you're not allowed to do that still. So Trump has said, all right, go fuck yourself. So he's now blocking um, all suspended all passenger flights from the four major Chinese airlines to and from the United States starting on June 16th. Huh. I, I love how he stands up to China. I, I got to admit that. I do love that. Yeah, I think that a... is just spectacular. But I, all I can <laughs> see is Washington Post and CNN. So I'm not running with that yet either. Really? Uh, that's, I've picked that up off of five different websites right now. But yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. It's websites, dude. They're, well, they're everything. The it's on the internet. No matter what it is, it's a website. I don't know what that. you get to. Yeah. So I know. no matter what I say, it's got to be something, but it's, it's there. Um, <laughs> I can't see it working. He does too much business with China. Well, this is just um, passengers. This isn't for, you know, who does, who does business businessmen? What do they fly on? It's, yeah, it's but... if you suspend all passenger flights, yeah, you would cripple both of your economies because then business isn't getting done. I can't see him sticking to it. Oh, no, it's like everything. It's a flash in the fucking pan for him. I'm just doing this to flex my mighty muscles. <laughs> uh, uh, Spending Chinese lights. Uh, more than 200 people have died from the virus. Oh, this is back in January. <laughs> no, that was the initial oh. ban. That was the initial ban. Wait a minute. All these stories are from January. Mm-mm. Every single one is from January. <laughs> Get a new one. <laughs> there isn't any. There's one from CNN dated today. Every single other one on the internet. Oh, there's a number two. They're all from January. Uh, it's funny. Mine isn't. There's there's two here from today. But yeah, all these, uh, every single one is dated January 31st. Um, there's a couple from today. I wonder how many of these ones that are dated today are just fucking reading the ones for January 28th. <laughs> January 28th, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guarantee that's what it is. This fucking... God damn it. It's like... Oh, man. The internet is just bad for this kind of shit. It's a mess. Uh, no getting around it. I can't. Why is my computer not working? Um, so kids, that's the thing. You know, do your homework. Uh, and don't just go off Google and read the headline and think you're you've got a story. Um, because you don't. I I ninety nine percent of the time you don't. Um, it's it's not easy to do, especially when you're on a live radio type of setting. It's uh, <laughs> difficult, but uh, generally a lot of shows that try to do what Gordon and I do have a bit of a better production team than we have. So they've got someone who's at a computer ready to fucking fact check shit as you're doing it. Um, we don't have that. We have Eric and we and we have Gordon. That's it. Uh, so <laughs> things are going, they go a little slower than what we like, but we do what we can. Then the fact is, I shouldn't be doing it anyway. You guys should be doing it for yourselves. Yeah, you should be calling uh, us out when we fuck it up. But um, 
here's a couple things to remember. No, the cop had didn't kill himself. Don't buy that one. He is not dead. He just got transferred. Which cop? What are you talking about? The cop, the George Floyd cop. I haven't even heard anything about that. Oh, I know yeah. that they upped his charge. They moved it up to second degree murder. Yeah, there's a story that he killed himself in prison. He did not. No, I heard that he was under suicide watch, but that was it. Yeah, no. I didn't know that he actually tried to do anything. <laughs> I didn't really give a shit. I just saw it. I thought, ah, fuck him. I don't care. <laughs> and the other three that were involved have all been charged as well. Um, so, all four are officially have their mug shots taken and probably out on bail, but... Yeah. It's just ridiculous. I have to say, I was I was kind of happy over the fact that they at least upped it to a second degree murder. Whether it sticks or not, doesn't matter. Well, I didn't think that third degree bullshit was uh gonna fly at all. <laughs> no, that that doesn't even make sense. No, that that's not even like I don't even that's not even close to a fucking slap in the wrist. Um, I got oh fuck off there. Um, I got a great little story here of um, um, in Grandview, West Virginia, um, a woman and her husband faked her death. Well, faked her disappearance. Uh, just so that she would avoid going to prison. <laughs> they, they got away with it for uh, for a few days, but uh, didn't last. <laughs> they were she found faked on Tuesday her death alive. To, to not well, she didn't fake her death. She just she just she faked her disappearance. He claimed that she disappeared. He doesn't know where she went. She's gone. I don't know where she is. And then she was found like two days later. Huh. She didn't fake anything. It was just. He was in on it. He knew about it. He helped her hide. Okay. <laughs> so I just thought, you know, you, God, people are fucking dumb. <laughs> I just love how stupid people are. Oh, no, she's about to go to jail. She's not here right now. <laughs> oh, they're just going to stop looking for her. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that's how police work. <laughs> uh, apparently in the States. That's... <laughs> that's exactly how they do it. They were actually just trying to kneel on her neck. So, Oh, uh, I have an update, by the way, on that deadly gas leak in India. Oh, goody. Um, uh, to to uh, up the ante so everybody knows, this was a chemical factory that's killed 12 people and got hundreds of people sick from a gas leak that happened overnight. Uh, so people in their sleep were woken up. It was uh, LG Polymers, which is owned by LG Chem Limited. It's uh, South Korea's largest chemical company. Um, the committee appointed by India's top environmental court has blamed gross human failure and a lack of basic safety norms for the gas leak. <laughs> so everything was just all systems go in it was India. In India. It was just a standard Indian practice there. Indian that, yeah, it, it, that's what they yeah. do. Yep. <laughs> so that so was gr- I just love that gross human error. <laughs> Yeah, and lack of basic safety norms. <laughs> I think doing business in India is gross human error, but <laughs> um, I don't understand why. Well, yeah, I do. I totally understand why because it's cheap as fuck. But um, I don't think we should be doing business there. No, I uh, I believe my company does not. And in the comp- in the companies they work for, I've been looking into this quite a bit because they made a grand global compliance statement um, regarding their company. And I believe they don't do business with these kind of things, but I have to look into a whole bunch of offshoots before I figure out the truth. Because Walmart owns about 900 brands. Yeah. And I remember when that initially happened with them, when they first took their first major stand against it. Um. Everybody thought that Walmart would just shut down. <laughs> How do you yeah. keep those prices when you're not going to deal with that? Uh, it's easy. It's easier than you would think because they own everything. Yeah. 
And they won't sell your shit. They'll just not sell your shit. So if you're like a big name like Kellogg or whatever, mm -hmm. they just don't sell your shit. <laughs> That's it. And then you go, well, Walmart's the only store in 400 towns. We have to do whatever they say. Yeah, it's true. Um, but I've learned a lot about them. I don't want to, I can't actually talk about it, so I won't, but, um, I'm learning a lot and I'm liking a lot of what I read. So, uh, and That's again, I'm, I'm trying to avoid, I'm trying to avoid online sources as much as possible. Uh, the unfortunate part of that is a lot of it is company sources that I, you know, they're not going <laughs> to say anything. <laughs> Again, <laughs> we'll come back. To so the point, <laughs> getting back to the story, though, I mean, this is not new for India. This isn't, uh, you know, we just did the story a little while ago about the, the factory that had the one goddamn door and no one could get out in the fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, it, you know, there'll probably be another collapse before we get to the bottom of this one. Something in India is going to fall down and kill. And this is 12 people. So it's not even really like... 80 people a day die just fucking crossing the street <laughs> in India. I bet, you, I bet you that's actually a way low number than what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what did that flood just take out? Like hundreds of thousands. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know. It just seems to be like, okay, there. And Indian people were so piss poor before outsourcing became a thing. That you throw eight bucks a day at them and they're fucking millionaires. Yeah. So they're going to keep accepting our money and keep building shitty factories and putting people in them to die uh, um population control we really need to stop yeah supporting them <laughs> um by giving them money but we won't because it it's the same it's the exact same thing as the fentanyl and you saying oh well a dealer is no oh, good killing its customers same thing with the indians you say oh you think a company would want to not kill all its employees all the time nope There'll be a hundred more tomorrow. Yeah, I get that. That is the sad fucking truth to it, isn't it? Um, there's always people lined up to take those jobs. Uh, just like there's always people lined up to take that fucking fentanyl. And it's the same thing. People are expendable. When you when you make that kind of money, you don't care about people anymore because you aren't one. That's right. That's right. It only works down to the mighty dollar. Nothing else matters. Everything in life does. And that's yeah. why I say bring on the fucking revolution. And that's what I've been saying for a long time. Actually, I wonder if that's why... Uh, oh, that's nothing. It's a personal thing. I'll bring it up later. But um, I would like that not to be the case. So I agree. If, if this little blip in time leads to a bigger revamping of the entire system, I'd be all for it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good for it. Whatever, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't. It doesn't. I just don't care about any of it anymore. Everybody's fucked. They all suck. Oh yeah, every, that. That's every not... country sucks. Most people inside each country suck. Every country has its <laughs> own version of suckiness. That's for sure. Yeah. And those you who actually do. You know no. what doesn't? Plastic Island. Yeah. No. Uh, pl my Plastic Island, absolutely. Okay. I I'm I haven't let go of that dream. That's um, the exception to the rule. <laughs> I just haven't got a boat yet. No, you know, there are exceptions to the rule. Iceland, great exception to the rule. If I could afford it, I would go live in Iceland tomorrow. Unfortunately, they're very smart and they don't let you move there unless you already have some money. Ah. <laughs> uh, they have no poverty. They don't know what that is there. They don't know what prostitution is. They don't have prostitution. Really? They don't need. Yeah. There, really? There's never been a prostitute there. It's not necessary. Everyone's happy and fucks a lot. Wow. And everyone's wealthy. Prostitution's usually uh, a, an act of despair, right? Like you're, yes. it's your last option. Yeah. Very, nope. very, very few, pe few people get into prostitution because they want to. <laughs> the, the average wage there is $50 an hour American. Wow. That's the that's the median income. So they're not doing bad, but they don't let you move there unless you got money. That's craziness. It's genius. It's the way it, it's it's not genius if you're poor like me and you want to move there, then it sucks. But <laughs> um, 
It's